still won't do anything about it? Well, let me tell you something, mister. Using a toothpick to scrape the mud off my pickup truck would be a lot more worthwhile than listening to your sorry ass. You better get it for the program, Bob, and fix this situation. Come on in, Vicencio. Sorry, but I'm a busy man today. I understand, sir. Hi. This is uh, Russ Jenkins, working the with the DEA, helping me to find my family. Have you found him yet? No, not yet. But we think the Los Hermanos might have got him. Uh, they actually may be working with the local farm company. You may have heard of them, Cal Farms. Yeah, Cal Farms. Would they really be a part of that? It don't seem like they would, but you never know these days. They're sure buying up a lot of ground for pasture. That doesn't seem right to me. Well, what's, uh, what's wrong exactly with pasture and cattle? Well, well, nothing's really wrong with it, but if you want my opinion, cattle will be happier in the pen than they will be out on the range. You see cattle here, they're loving it to be in the pen. We can give them plenty full grade of corn all the way back from the Midwest, local alfalfa, fresh Colorado River water. Our cattle are loving life. But the cattle on pasture only have grass to feed. They're a danger from other animals and illnesses. It's a lot easier for us to cure the cattle here in the feedlot than it is on pasture. So you think there's a connection between cow farms and your family's disappearance? Yes, we do, Mr. Van Horn, and we need your help. The only way to stop this is, is to let the public know what's going on. Well, I have a lot of friends involved with cow farms now. You have to give me more evidence. Very good, Mr. Van Horn. Vicencio, you're doing a great job with the pony. Even my wife says. You're welcome, Mr. Van Horn. Thank you. You're both my shining armor of hope, mi esperanza. Miss Van Gogh, she's a lovely woman, just as you, sir, are a great man. She always makes sure I get fit when I'm working there. And you? I'm so grateful to you, Mr. Van Gogh, for all. Well, we're gonna try to get you some more work on the ranch. I appreciate that. Just let me have time to talk it over. Thank you, sir. You'll find him, Vicencio. You'll find him. Good morning, Imperial Valley. This is Jose Renteria, and you're listening to KCXQ, the Valley's number one radio station. Here's your daily morning news update. Weather is good. Morning is bright and sunny. It looks like we still have a few more weeks before that summer heat really starts to kick in. In local news, we have that much-anticipated water transfer meeting delayed again due to the quarantine. Everyone is wondering what is going to happen. Will it be transferred? If so, how many jobs will it cost? If the transfer to the big coast cities does take place, I can see the valley turning back into a desert. Sounds like something the man from Jalisco would say. Speaking of which, where is the man from Jalisco? Haven't heard from him in a while. Maybe he's out working on a new case. No matter where he is, we could use his voice right about now. This valley needs him. If he's listening to this, I hope he knows we're waiting for his return. That's it for your KCXQ morning update with your host, Jose Renteria. Stay tuned. What's up? Manuel, anything suspicious with the van horns? No veo nada sospechoso, pero algo están tramando los van horns. Yo te informo. Yo te mantengo informado, no te preocupes. Bye, estoy trabajando.
get us out of here. You bastards, you're going to pay for this. You're going to pay for this. Psalm 92, verse 12. Psalm 92, verse 12. The righteous man will flourish like the palm tree. He will grow like a cedar in Lebanon. Seco, cow farms is turning the fields back into desert. I can't believe it. What about our jobs? This is not good. Coronavirus and all this. This is what the world needs. Food. Somehow, we need to keep everything growing like the palm tree. Somehow, I hope, Esperanza. Think about the best decision. Bless our efforts by keeping our water. Let us flourish like a palm tree. Thank you. 
provide the fruits of our valley. Hola, Ross. Hang on, Vincenzo. A new man from Jalisco wants to talk to you. Yes? Hello? We have to be really careful that no one finds out that you're writing the letters. I understand. If I put this one out, they're going to be on to me, just like they were to Kate Tucker. I will think about an idea. Hang on, Vincenzo. I need to find out who this uh, caller was that reported the kidnappers. He didn't say a name, but he said that he was fishing. Fishing? This scandal? Fishing! Uh, hola, Raz? Are you still there? Raz? That's it. I can disguise myself and sneak the letter to the newspaper lady. That can work. What do you think? Yeah? I think so. Well, you gonna give me your opinion or not?
Hey Paco, soy yo. ¿Qué pasó? ¿Cómo está la gente ahí? Aquí todo está en orden. Pronto estaremos listos para trasladarlos. Ok. Manténganse así. Yo te hablo más tarde. My name is Consuelo. I miss my daughter. Do you know her? No, señora, ya no hago tantas preguntas. Do you have a daughter? No, señora, y no hago muchas preguntas. I think you, you should get married. Everyone needs to get married. You can have children. Ya cállese, señora. The palm tree grows tall, it has many seeds. It can keep growing for many generations, many years. Like the palm tree, we need to keep alive in this harsh weather of the Imperial Valley. Water helps the palm tree, the crops, and us all to keep alive. Somehow, even in the midst of this coronavirus, we still need to keep everything growing like the palm tree. We all need to keep safe and to keep strong, but as I have said before, there are those who want to take our water away from us, away from the palm tree, from the crops. This will affect our valley, our way of life, and the palm tree may die if we do nothing. The Los Hermanos Drug Cartel is dealing with an imposter. You might think they are a farming company, but they are not. You might think they are going to pasture cattle, but they are not. This so-called farming company is buying up land to turn the valley back into a desert. With the cartel, they are laundering drug money by buying more land. After they take the land, then they sell the water rights to the cities. And with the All-American Water District's approval of the water transfer to the cities, our valley will turn back into a desert in no time. Who is the great imposter? The so-called farming company? Who's hiding behind the mask? I will reveal this imposter at the next water meeting and I will have proof, proof as tall as the palm tree grows. May God bless our efforts and may he help us to flourish like a palm tree. Let us provide 
the fruits of our valley. Sincerely, hey, the men from Jalisco. Danny escaped. They have Antonio, though. But don't worry, Walter's on it. I promise. To hell with Walter. I'm paying you to handle this problem, so you handle it. Don't make me come down there. Fishing. Piscando. Fishing. Wow, that's a big fish. The guy who was fishing, he got the big fish. Maybe he knows something. Got anything? Nope, not today. Yesterday, I caught a carp. You come out here every day? Try to. It's kind of hard with my busy schedule and all. <laughs> I'm just fooling. I was fooling about the fact that I haven't caught any fish. Oh, so uh, so you caught some of them? I caught a shit load. <laughs> I see a man like you can't help but be honest. That's some of it. Really, I just didn't want to tell you because I was afraid that you were going to take my fishing spot later on. But, I'm not worried because I see that you're not a fisherman. That I'm not. That I'm not. So, um, the other day there was a suspicious vehicle driving around here. Uh, did you see that? Yep, right over there. Were you the one that called that in? Yes, I was a caller. Is that the best you can do? I'll give you another 20 when you tell me what I want to hear. I saw that. You don't have another 20. I'll come back and I'll pay you tomorrow. How's that? Now, how do I know I can trust you to do that? Just trust me. I'll be back tomorrow. Now, why don't you just tell me what I want to hear? You tell me everything that you know, everything you saw and heard. Are you in a hurry or something? You know, you city folks are always pressed for time. Me, on the other hand, I have all the time in the world. And people like you tend to make me very nervous. Now, the only way for this is to work is for you to find a little patience within yourself so that you can speak on my level. Otherwise, I won't give you the time of the day. There's nothing worse than an impatient human being. Impatient scares the fish. All right, take your time. That's exactly what I want you to hear. Do you 
want to give me an estimate of when you might share some information with me? I'll tell you what. You come fishing with me tomorrow, and then I'll know if you really deserve my time.